this is a direct translation of what I will consider treat as uh, assault not attempted assault but assault at the police station in the city of the Novo Mesto in Slovenia on June the 21st of 2024 this is what's going to be reported submitted to the police in Ljubljana also and others uh, I will do now Slovenian to English and demonstrate you exactly what took place. First of all, this is a very difficult, very, very, very difficult video to make because it relates to a lot of issues that took place also lately, but I will try my best. I will use this page here for illustration purposes so that you get idea about where this took place uh, and the settings and everything about what you need to know in respect to this case. Because this was just to give you an idea exactly what more or less what took place but this was nowhere near properly done. It took me about over two weeks to do the job the way I, you know, the way the job should really be done as far as investigation. So we get to audio in Slovenian language, which is before I'm going to even continue forward with it this is a replica almost very it's a replica it's again the same shit the same thing as have taken place here with a media Weber about a month and a half earlier something like this I think I did not look the time uh, the timing but it's almost it's a replica it's not almost it's totally replica everything is identical absolutely everything is identical from the torture we do which took place at the police station before this took place the same thing here at the back of the parking lot at this home at this house here the same thing absolutely the same recipe and more than anything what matters the most is a replica of the type of crime everything entire crime was according to the audio recordings it was all done according to the audio recordings both crimes further uh, crime at the police station on june the 21st was directly related to crime which took prior place here at home uh, done by my niece's husband Mitya Weber with idea to cover up for that crime with idea to extend with idea to expand that crime against me due to certain factors also I will discuss in this video when I am waving this telephone and as I suggested based upon yes you don't get to see the camera because you're not allowed to video record you only allowed to use audio and everything therefore goes according to the audio what the fuck am i saying i am saying that media weber rehearsed crime against me future crime against me at the parking lot according to the scenario which he enforced at the parking lot, word by word, repeated word by word, together with the mother. He already started the garage for no less than at least 26 years. 
for no less than 26 years, he rehearsed a future crime. Word by word, they develop with the police. Word by word, they have numerous people evaluating the crime at our home here, in the back of the parking lot, using also me to see how I will respond to the certain provocations. The same shit went on at the police station where the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch participated and demanded from the police investigators to follow his orders and have used me to evaluate on how I am going to respond to certain situations which he further, just like my niece's husband, have aggravated through the physical violence against me. Something I already have discussed in the video In this video here, and it's titled in English, June the 21st, 2024, detailed description of the criminal incident at Malmesto Police Station as it took place in details. There are very important details, however, that are missing in there, and these are the details I have uh, discussed very much, I did discuss also in this video about the police director, Yana Soguli. Uh, I did not do the properly the video because it was the most crucial information that I missed on information which involves the e which involved the Ultra issues of the schizophrenia something that British royals have ordered literally through the police catalog in Slovenia in as early as in 1997 when they demanded from me to see in the police officers a regular schizophrenics and have together with other people from abroad incited me in labeling them directly in the face during MK Ultra as a schizophrenics and then have made their turn against me and started to support police against me. Now basically they have used me to increase pathos in already, I believe, these people at Novo Mesto police station are criminally rotten. I don't know how much they're mentally ill, but you have to be also mentally ill to be a son of a bitch like this, to, do, to somebody's stuff like this. You gotta be rotten to the bone. You gotta be also mentally ill. As for the British royals, these are a very, very unclassy, failed elite from the Britain that they really have no class. This is, this is really low, 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 lower the lowest, hiding behind the walls of palaces throughout the Britain and their mainstream media, the supporters which operate through the cash flow. Violence based on which they believe I will respond to in a way they wanted to. What exactly this means? What that exactly means is that they believe will have the ability to orchestrate a physical incident just like my niece's husband believe he will have ability to create a physical incident at our home here in the back of the parking lot he did by placing two hands on both of my shoulders for what he hoped I would develop the whole thing into the physical confrontation according to my instructions to one, what I will do if he will do something like this recipe. The two police investigators who knew I am audio recording the whole thing were certain, however, they too would develop the incident against me in a such a way that I would not have the capacity to point out the proofs about the abuse at the police station. I still did not complete the report about what took in the back of our house 
when Mitya Weber visited. I did not properly do the whole thing. Still will have to do that stuff, which is not going to be a difficult thing to do. Here is exactly, yes, this is the way it is. The thing is that I was very well aware about what they're doing and made bloody sure that through the interactions with both of them, I would get proofs enough before I started to raise my voice and eventually stand up in the face of an individual who approached me, stand on the side, looking at me in a very hostile way after he smashed the door. Uh, it looked like he is out there for a fight. So it was the opportunity which I used on several occasions sitting relaxed back in the chair till I get enough proof about what went on. Then I took my steps. I was very much advised against, uh, intimidated during MK Ultra, also by what was American police, which trained even the police investigator, police officers on how to create a physical incident. They had a large support from United States of America, especially from Chicago, and I think also from Queens, from New York. Um, it was all kinds of issues, uh, something that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch uh, and British royals commenced literally through the, uh, after I moved to the city of Chicago in uh, 2008. Yeah, since 2008, this is where they visited a local uh, police department in Chicago and they started to plot how they're going to destroy me at the police station indefinitely. Uh, I shouldn't say that, expand, yeah, expand. These are the issues they already plotted to be, for me to be exact, uh, as it became evident in the video which I have published uh, about a uniformed police officer who participated in this stuff. It became evident that it was Robert Golob who finished the job for the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch as far as caricatura of the police officer who was involved in no later than in 2003. So this crime was in a process already at least since 2002, 2003 when the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and Dr. Robert Gorop, now the Slovenian Prime Minister, began to design the whole crime on how they're going to do it. The police officer who finds himself in this crime against me was involved uh, through the Milan Kuchan, through the Robert Gorop, through Borod Pahor, who grew one like a baby. He's from an impoverished family, socially disadvantaged etc 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 open one stipendium in Ljubljana a place to stay for to finish the studies and so on I don't know how they financially assisted the family he had uh, two sisters whatever whatever the case was I don't know a single mom or whatever the case was they were very poor people uh, and got him a wife who was wealthy and so on opened him a prosperity through the police station etc etc uh, this this is a long crime in Milan Kuchan and obviously also British royals planned on against me. They plan on this crime based on my idea about what took place. But this guy went to the police. Um, they planned on this crime, I believe, not since 2003. This is just a little glimpse about what happened in 2003. But I think they plan on this crime since this guy became a police officer, talking about the uniformed individual. When did this guy became a police officer? I had no fucking clue. He might have become a police officer, I don't know. I'm thinking about this stuff. I did not thought about that stuff. If you were to ask me right now whether he became a police officer, 
I don't know, I'll probably go and say to you in 91, 92, something like that. That's a long, long, long ago. In 91, 92, does it even make sense? Yeah, it does make sense somewhat. And it doesn't. Probably even earlier than that. Who knows? Uh, hard to tell. 88, 89, I think I would say, when he became a police officer. Talking about the uniform individual. All he wanted to be was a police officer. That was his dream. And there must have been a reason why this was his dream. Because he's dreamed about being on a picture. The one who wanted this type of crime. The one who developed this type of crime. Because it was British royals, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew that question me about in year 1990 in year 1991 whom do i like what do i like it was like a frantic stuff this crime was designed 1990 by the prince charles and prince andrew these are the people who financed the whole engine behind this crime the one who financed propelled in 1990 1991 nah, one ladies and gentlemen we're talking about 34 years ago. It took 34 years ago to put this crime which took place against me on June the 21st of 2024 in motion that it actually took place. Everything in between was just everything in between. They, they continued to load issues on it. In 1990, 1991, Slovenia was still even part of Yugoslavia. That much more makes me sick when I think about what kind of friends I had from Britain here in Slovenia. In English, have this stuff here. Where you gonna go here? We're going to do this here. These are not, these are not small crimes. These are big, big ass crimes. This crime took place on May 11, 2024. And I did not steal properly broke one down and this is what police also believe are going to expand also this issue here this was just a continuation whatever took place on june the 21st it was an upgrade from this crime behind this crime however in 1997 milan kuchan was hiding who promised me death on the parking lot for saying to him in the face that he's got no right no place ever to visit this home. Then I order him to get the fuck out of here. Never get in my face again at this home here. Don't want to see one ever again. He said, okay. But these are the issues that these people are going to have to cope with when they're going to answer questions. They might have all the proofs to themselves but you know the lie detectors do not lie lie detectors do not lie police interrogation is used to prove criminals wrong about it and i do know something little about this stuff these are the issues they're going to be meeting with it's not necessary about having witnesses this is so much better but if the network is so criminal, if they are so organized, it is such a powerful union around you, it still doesn't mean that you have to go down on your knees, bend down on their knees and depend on the shit. That doesn't mean that. It's exactly contrary to that. That's when you have to take time and analyze this and go after them and do exactly to them whatever they promised you they're going to do with you. That's Then it becomes your assignment it becomes your duty it becomes your job for as long as you breathe
This is the translation of the audio. Once I came to the police station, I see a very tall police officer, female. Uh, you're talking about the police officer, female about at least 185 centimeters taller than myself, maybe 188, I don't know, taller, strong lady, uh, blonde lady, uh, really beautiful lady, and also an individual, very short guy, about maybe, I don't know, 175, 170 centimeters, 175 centimeters something, a police officer whose facial features somewhat matched those of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Uh, and how the hell would I not recognize both of them? I saluted both of them. I knew exactly who these people were. Um, I just didn't know exactly what their assignment was against me that day. Um, a criminal who had a facial features that somewhat matched those of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Uh, was like a rooster during NK Ultra, was jumping in my face and did everything possible to intimidate, to, uh, to bully, to harass, so that he would be as close to mentally and schizophrenically as possible to his owner, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, whom he worked for. Well, he's asking me about what did I stop for at the police station. So I tell him, you know, uh, I did stop to report here a procedure known as NK Ultra. Uh, something I already did stop by here at your police station, uh, and it happened so that your police investigator did not even know what the procedure NK Ultra is. And he is asking about what is this? What is NK Ultra? Yeah. Let's make sure that we can hear this. He says, what is MK Ultra? Yes, I tell him, I tell the officer, I tell him, uh, ask your superior, ask your, um, you know. If you don't know what MK Ultra is, just ask your superior. Kako mislite? Ne razumem. He says to me, it's you who will tell me about this. Uh, I don't know what it is. And uh, I said, what do, you, what do you mean by this? And he says, well, so that I can, I can, I can give you a proper uh, police assistance. Uh, so I can choose within the officers to see what exactly would be the proper personnel for you to get. Uh, kind of insane because I recognize the guy uh, and he's asking me what the procedure of MK Ultra is, okay. This is the uniformed police officer with the three stars whose name, last name, you will know in just a little bit. 
As a matter of fact, let's put this back. We got to take this here. So I say, what the procedure of MKH is? I don't know. Is he fucking around, kidding, or what is this? Postopak MK Ultra u vašem primjeru, iz vaše policijske, s čim vas bom jest vašo policijsko postajo uradno naslovil pred kazenskim sodišćem. So I start to explain him him. So and I start like this. The MK Ultra procedure, and it's what I will file criminal charges against your, at the court of law, against your police station as whole. Se pravi, je postopek pranja možganov. Is a procedure of brainwash. Z sredstvi, ki te stvari omogočajo, se pravi, z zadrogeranjem človeka. With the help of drugs, which made this type of procedure possible. Obviously. Ki omogočajo nadzornim ogarom policijskim izvajanje nasilja nad posameznikom. Therefore, sredstva, I don't even know how I would say that, but let's just say drugs, which allow police to exercise violence against a specific individual in, in a different purposes, for a different purposes. It's not just for one reason they would do this, but there are different reasons why police would do this. Uh, it could be for the purposes of a terrorism. It could be for purposes of proving someone existence of the mental illness, etc., etc., etc. So I tell the police officer, uniformed police officer, there are different reasons why police is using the procedure of MK Ultra and therefore drugs which allow police to engage in such brainwash procedure. Tako na kratko povedano, kaj je postopek. In to je izvajala vaša policijska enota tudi med drugim. This is a very, in a short way, explained what exactly the procedure MK Ultra is and it's exactly what your police station engaged in. Predhodno pred vami je vaša policijska enota v novem mestu od mojega leta Ena, rojstva. Your police station engaged in such procedure against me beginning age one, one year of my age. Se pravi pod Josipom Brozom Titos ni to začelo. That is in the city of the Novo Mesto under what used to be still Josip Broz Tito as a leader of Yugoslavia, obviously. Ja, ampak... Marshal Josip Broz Tito. Tudi ta zadeva, zaradi katera sem se jaz danes glasil tukaj, direktno naslavljam, bom naslovil pritožbo proti vašemu direktorju policije, zaradi tega, ker je v pretem kar v eni niz takšnih postopkov proti men, s katerimi je hotel dokazati pač neke stvari, da je izmano narobe in... Today's visit, and I'm making sure that I would get immediate assistance in respect to that. And yeah, I should get the immediate assistance in respect to that. It's the kind of issue that should grant one assistance 24-7, a police assistance. Uh, I mentioned this uniformed police officer. I am here today further to press criminal charges against your director of the police, of the police Novo Mesto, that is basically Jurcic, uh, due to chain of crimes which took place one after another, uh, continue violence against me, 
Uh, therefore, I have reason to be here today, right now. It's what I'm trying to to say indirectly to the police officer. Uh, your police station continues to engage in on daily basis into incidents which involve violence against me. Uh, in other words, you are you continue to enforce violence against me. Continuation of the violence against me. That's what started at my age one years of age. That's why I stopped here today at your police station. Uh, what is your name? He says. And I give him my name. My name is Bustian Ausitz. Yeah. Um, interesting enough, he's playing an idiot. Like he doesn't know me. Like he had never seen me before. And so I ask one whether he needs perhaps a document. He should understand in Slovenian language what Bustian Ausitz is. Uh, even though if he would met before, so I ask him whether he need a document for that reason to make him things easier. And I do hand him a document. I think it was my personal ID or driver license. I'm not sure. His last name is Pevets. Um, yeah, singer, if you would translate this to Slovenian, uh, from Slovenian to English language. Uniformed. Police officer, last name, Pevets, we said, right, and let's continue with the show. I ask you, man, your name, your last name is Pevets, am I correct? I say to him, I see that you have a three stars on your on your sleeves. Okay. Uh, have a seat and wait for assistance. Thank you very much, I'm going to say. That's what I stated to him and I go and I take a seat. I don't have any kind of problem with this guy so far. I don't have any kind of problem. The only problem I have is that he doesn't know what MK Ultra is. Um, the thing is that stuff I do right there at the police station is actually not my job. This is not what people do. It's the police usually that comes to the people with good morning, good day to you. I understand you do have a such and such problem. Can we please assist you? Um, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is the stuff that was used literally to incite me into violence at the police station with the police officers who repeatedly expressed to me at the police station they will continue to answer like they don't know anything about what MKUltra is. While inciting literally in violence. But it's okay. I have time for it. I started something, I take a seat, just as he told me to do, and I wait for whoever he's going to send again. So far, probably about 10 police investigators that met me did not know what MKUltra procedure is, not even a single one of them. During MKUltra, however, when they met me, 
because of my visits at the police station where I talked about MK Ultra existence of MK Ultra, I think already since 2016, for four years they engaged, interacted with me during MK Ultra, laughing at me about MK Ultra, what is MK Ultra? Uh, that they will continue to pretend that they don't know what MK Ultra is, act stupid and stuff like this, laugh in my face and so on. This is just a reality between my interaction with the novel master police in the past and what you see continues to go on. We still play idiot, pretending we don't know what MK Ultra is. Who are you? So I take a seat and I wait for the police investigator to come. And that is the chief. This is where the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch hoped for uh, will uh, evolve uh, the physical confrontation this year. Um, basically, it looks uh, like this. If you pay attention to the table, you will see the table is deliberately done in a such a way that you cannot even put your feet, legs, I should say, under the table. Sit like a human being on those chairs, you cannot. Uh, people that try this uh, don't have even capacity to stand up. In other words, if I did something like that, uh, it would push the table away, it would create uh, a squeak. According to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who was laughing to me during MK Ultra, those are the things psychiatrist Peter Kapsch will have to answer during MK Ultra. It's the diabolical part that is coming for the police now. Both police investigators are going to have to, other police personnel will have to answer in respect to what I am talking about right now. How they plan on this crime to develop, on this physical assault which they exercise against me to develop. They plan on my standing up as Pevitz individual whom I have spoken with at the window approached to me like this, he was standing like this to me on the side and started to argue and believe that I'm going to stand up and when I would stand up that I would push the table away. And that would give him already enough reason to grab me because everything goes under the telephone. Everything is according to the telephone or is voice recorded. This was initial according to psychiatrist Kapsch, according to these police investigators, how they planned on will develop the crime against me that day. The two police officers, a female blonde uh, and a shorter guy, were completely acquainted with this crime. Entire police station was acquainted with this crime. Everybody in the police station knew about this meeting in the future. There was no, I don't think there is a single police officer who doesn't know me, that would not even know about that specific crime, how I was going to play. They all knew the tall lady that came, uniformed with a shorter guy, whose feature reminded of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, they came that day to arrest me. It's what I was told during MK Ultra, the case is going to be. By the lady, by the individual, uh, by the two officers, therefore, uniformed officers, the day you're going to see us is the day when we arrest you. And, of course, by Mr. Pevitz, individual, 
who was in charge at the window that day with the three stars, and by the investigator who is about to come and assist me. I just need to see if I can... Uh, Hell, I did not set this stuff here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to pause this stuff because I do have to go to the restroom. See if I can do that. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Yeah, well, okay. It's not going to do it. Let's just continue with this. I'm going to go and I'm going to use the restroom whichever way I know. Uh, and I will continue with this video. I am not going to go and do it again. It's too much work I do. I do too much. Uh, it's not even good for me. Let's continue with the audio here. Here, right there where I sit. Yeah. Uh, the police investigator. So what I do is I make myself comfortable and I sit at the chair uh, which I am gonna label this chair with uh, um, so this is a table issue and I'm gonna label myself with this thing here we're gonna write down here uh, we're gonna write down here my my chair is just going to be this one here. This is basically what I sit at this chair here. Um, this this chair here. Yeah, let me do this. This is my chair. Yeah. So, yeah, I have to go and I have to play you the whole thing. I am waiting now for the police assistance. So basically, the first deadliest trap at this point I already avoid. I realize that the table, such a table with a, such a little chairs, with a big chairs and such a little table, is there with a reason. I already understand what the fuck is going on. Uh, I am quite aware of this table. Uh, I'm thinking about this table, how uncomfortable it is, uh, and somehow I don't feel right about it. And so what I do is I push the chair backwards and just 
sit there really in a comfort, waiting for whoever is going to come my way. Uh, the table, uh, about the table and chairs. The table and chairs, uh, this is already one thing I have to tell you, are there illegally, criminally. Police is actually violating the law according to the words of the police officers, investigators alone during MKUltra. They admitted they recognized that the chairs, such chair and the table, are the improper setup for the lobby and are there even illegally, criminally, till my case is going to come, till my round is going to come. This garbage chair, this garbage table, they are keeping one there already since, I think, since 2000 and, since 2006, I think. 2007, when I came to the police station and filed this report with uh, theft concerning my Mazda car parts. Yeah, so still haven't done anything about it and they had no reason to do anything about it. That chair, those, that table right there, is there with a reason. Because it's the type of police station that is doing shitty stuff. I'm sure I'm not a first person that they try to set up with, based on the information I'm giving. It's a possible thing there will be more people that will come up forward and talk about this chair, talk about this table. We got to see what's going on. So I sit, at this point in time, I continue to sit, yeah, and I am waiting for whoever is going to come to assist me. Main lobby area, I continue to sit there. It's really, really hot outside that day. 
It was really, really hot that day outside. Hmm. Well, basically, uh, I am thirsty that day. I was in the city, I did some exercise, and I told the officer, Pevitz. Yeah, I realized one thing. <laughs> and I told this police officer Pervitz, I told him I'm just going to jump to the car uh, and I'm going to get myself uh, a bottle of water I have inside of the car okay? so I'll be right back, right? Because I'm waiting for somebody to come to assist me. Now it comes to me during MK Ultra that during MK Ultra they keep asking me about how come is it, why is it that you keep forgetting the keys at the at the police station? This is how they provocated it in MK Ultra. Why do you, by the way, why do you keep forgetting the car keys at the police station? Why do you keep forgetting the car keys at the police station? And I had no idea what the fuck they were talking about. What kind of car keys? And they, they started to disturb. Uh, aren't this your car keys? And this and that. And I had no idea. But the thing is that this shit happened to me the second time already. That I did left a car keys at the police station. Uh, that uh, this time I also left the car keys at the police station and since it involved not this time but specifically last time when I was there a police officer who played with the keys all the time why do you leave the keys to the police station I was thinking about this phenomenon why the fuck would I leave the keys at the police station and I realized that I am wearing the ladies' pants. I am wearing a jeans, a very comfortable jeans, pants, uh, which, however, have no nothing, no for the belt. And these are exactly the pants, the type of pants the police have used ongoingly during MK Ultra, and insisted they are the best pants for the walking, hiking, the stretch jeans, and they are. Dirty cheap, I don't know, uh, a few euros per piece of these pants, and they do exactly about the sales, where those sales are going to take place, how those sales are going to take place. It's a story separate. The point here is that to reach the pocket in these pants is not easy, uh, it's not comfortable, they don't have pockets up front, and these are the pants that were used during MK Ultra by the police investigators, uh, by even the people whom they have used to evaluate the future ordeal they would do to me. And so they realized that people using these pants, they ongoingly were forgetting the keys. Because when you're without the front pocket especially, uh, you just have your keys too much in your hands. And so I realized how they got that concept. I am analyzing absolutely all the brainwash that went during MKUltra and I am comparing the circumstances and it was 
it, I was really driven insane with this issue. I did not understand why. Why was it that this guy, how the fuck this guy knew that I would forget the keys during MK Ultra, which I did during the previous visit at the police station. And it did came to me in between. I said to myself, look, you're using actually ladies' pants, and during MK Ultra they were using ladies' pants. Nicely that hold my body uh, ladies' pants comfortable. Yeah, they were using them during MK Ultra. So the thing is, I am evaluating and investigating a good number of issues, crimes that pertain to this stuff. Think about how that stuff went on, what went on in the past, how I can benefit from within. And it's not easy stuff. Uh, not that would matter because I picked up the keys by myself. Not that would matter, but it matters to me to analyze, to understand. So there would be no doubt left in absolutely any issue that I do in the present or they have orchestrated me would take place in the past. That would take place in the future, that, which they demonstrated to me during MK Ultra. To investigate MK Ultra crime, you really have to understand all the circumstances in the background. You do have to understand to get the solution, to get to the core, uh, the solution, the core of the solution, you do have to understand for every, absolutely every issue, I believe, that went on during MK Ultra. And so if you continue to stick your nose into the issues that pertain to MK Ultra, that they were doing, whatever the hell they were doing, and you continue to search, then you're going to start to understand really the whole crime, because the whole crime is totally twisted and embedded in the clouds, in the fog. It's designed actually to get you killed. Uh, I realized one thing, basically, you know, I just need something to drink, but I realized one thing, I left the key again at the police uh, shelter, at the police, uh, at the front desk, again I did it, I am doing the stuff really that I'm not supposed to, and this is the stuff they talked about all the time during MK Ultra. why do you again leave the key, why do you leave, again leave the key, the answer is very simple, during MK Ultra, they were using exactly the women's pants. The women's pants was a subject, basically the pants that are like this. As far as the women's pants during MK Ultra, uh, with only belt holding them and pants uh, twisted over the belt, I had people at the postal office gesturing me how they're going to grab me and pull the pants down on me, laughing during MK Ultra. Uh, it was a nasty stuff. It was very, very unpleasant and nasty stuff they engaged in during MK Ultra. Guaranteeing how they're gonna fuck me, beat me up and pull the pants down. You're gonna wear the ladies' pants and stuff like this. They were wearing big time ladies' pants. Uh, a lot of guys were not happy with the ladies' pants uh, that uh, claimed that didn't fit them and so on and so forth uh, because they gained a lot of pounds uh, they were gaining weight and so on and they were becoming unhappy about it and so on uh, that this is what you're not supposed to that this is ridiculous and so on and so forth uh, ladies pants during MK Ultra it was a big thing the police investigators used a lot ladies pants during MK Ultra for hiking and for the stuff Hang on to.
And that makes it impossible almost to get to the pockets and, you know, put the stuff into the pockets. Because this is the, they don't have any front uh, pockets and stuff like this. And so it, everything they did, all the stuff they did, they, they developed literally on evaluation of other people, of other subjects, other police, well, of the police. In this type of crime, this this type of crime, you forget the keys again during MK Ultra. You forget the keys again. You forget the keys. Why do you keep doing this and so on? Are these your keys? No, these are not your keys. Are those your keys? No, those are not keys. And then I'm going to return them one day. Maybe we're not going to return them, etc., etc., etc. This is what psychiatrists capture. This is what the psychiatrists have used to undermine one, to suggest you, hey, you're stupid. You're stupid. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, you see, this is a typical schizophrenia, etc., etc., etc. It's especially pleasant if you have a mama calling you a mental patient all the time and people laughing in your face, coughing around you, using absolutely every opportunity, ambulance, sirens, women around you and so on, driving you insane all the time. Uh, that kind of intimidation techniques, harassment, uh, especially is effective uh, for the people that are in between whatever it would not even be effective on me if I would not pay attention to this stuff uh, as far as I'm concerned because it's too easy to even solve this stuff the thing however is I like to understand the psychology of the people that enforce this type of crime extermination procedure uh, I like to understand what works, what is inside of the brains of the psychiatrists, what, how they operate, what, how they, how they undermine, how they fuck people, uh, intimidate the people, how it all works. And when you add up all this, you get a pretty good picture about what kind of people you are dealing with. Not only when it comes to psychiatrists and police, but in your surroundings, as far as your neighbors, as far as the people that police sent here. Uh, all those issues matter. They tell you about the person you're dealing with. They tell you about other person you're dealing with based on your memories that you use to recall for certain issues and so on. Every little issue during MK Ultra that took place actually matters. Because it all adds up for every person. Investigators whom they tested for this procedure. So I go, I come back, I come back to uh, to the to the police station, and as I come back at the police station, uh, there is a police officer uh, I talked to you about earlier. I made a mistake. She just came now with this individual. Uh, I made a mistake earlier when I talk about the blonde lady and the smaller guy. Uh, this is it right now. As I came back, when I got the water from the car, I returned back to the police station and I even opened the door for her. Uh, this was she. She arrived. So they basically dispatched her and this individual uh, from wherever that would be exactly according to MK Ultra. Uh, obviously, I am about to meet somebody. Let's see how the things go. Uh, that was somebody else uh, that I might have even opened the doors for whatever took place, uh, whoever that was. But this here, this is this lady and this individual, this short individual. These two are just as important as investigator and Mr. Pevets, therefore a police officer who 
uh, work as a dispatcher at the reception at the window that day. Now they arrive. So uh, there you go. Uh, I sit, you can see where my chair is. This is my chair. And this here is where the police investigator will sit right here at this chair here. This is where his chair will be. This one here. That's his chair right here. Yeah. So he will sit right here. We sit right across the table of one another. We are watching each other from eye to eye. I am watching him and he is watching me right across the table is where we are at, both of us. That's how the two of us meet. It's an individual who presents himself as a police officer, according to MK Ultra Brainwash, already uh, throws the first insult in my face, uh, for which he stated to me that during MK Ultra, he stated to me it's not according to the rule according to the guidebook to present himself who he is as far as his duties uh, concerning either investigation or uh, police work uniformed police work so this was already the first insult based on MK Ultra he threw in my face I will try to understand what he is saying. So this is the blonde lady that comes inside, the tall blonde lady, and then also her assistant that looks like a, a, a well somewhat that's what the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch demanded from me to see in this police officer for whom he claimed will fuck me uh, and he also did Uh, so the investigator comes out and I say to him hello, he says to me hello. Yeah. Uh, he's not sure what I came for. Uh, maybe he mentioned uh, that I came for MK Ultra or whatever. And I'm looking at him and I said to him, yeah, of course. Basically, I don't like somebody that, again, I recognize was involved in MK Ultra, giving me a doubt about what the fuck I came for, some kind of MK Ultra, uh, And that's why I answered with, yeah, kind of lazy, and then I stated, of course, uh, and so I proceed to tell him, you know, stuff like this just doesn't happen every day. It's not just anything, this is not just something. Uh, I told him, in fact, I will demand arrest warrant for your police director, Jurshic, you see right there. Uh, he is a director of the Novo Mesto Police, am I correct? Uh, he doesn't like this attitude. 
Dobar dan, želim. Tu se ne vzudi vsak dan, tu ni kar nekaj, ki je v bistvu on zahtevo za porni malo, ko ima tega direktora in vse. Ki je direktor policije na ovem mestu, ne? I think he suggests me that we're going to sit and we're going to discuss this issue, whatever. So, I say yes, uh-huh. This is my, I think he asked me for my personal ID, so I give him my personal ID, so he can take the ID, so he can have information about who I am and so on. He takes my government-issued ID just so I just as I handed one to uh, to Pevet's uh, dispatcher at the window. Um, and this is where we continue. He gets my ID, he gets my name. Just the same thing as the case was with uh, uh, an officer at the front window. He's writing down the information and everything. Uh, he asked me, uh, what were you going to say? What were you going to tell me? You can continue. Uh, you demanded arrest warrant for the Nova Mesto police director. Uh, so I tell him, well, the first thing we have to do is we have to go through the procedure. We have to discuss about why am I here. We have to go over the procedure. He is looking at me like uh, in doubts. Priporni nalog, that's a arrest warrant for the director. Uh, I'm explaining him it can be today, it can be tomorrow, it can be... If you're gonna, if you're gonna take him away today, you're going to do the right thing, however I tell him. And I continue in his face to explain to him, however, you will do that. Uh, that's how the things are. Uh, here is how the matters are. Here is how things are. I stopped by again to report about, to make a police report about continuation of violence against me, which your police station enforces against me. Um, did I translate this okay? Because in Slovenia it sounds so properly. I stopped today at your police station to report ongoing violence against me, uh, enforced against me by your police station. Uh, directly involved in this ongoing crime against me is your Novo Mesto Police Director Jursic. Uh, 
uh, who also was one of the police officers who directly engaged in violence against me during MKUltra procedure. Uh, do you know anything about MKUltra? He says to me, he doesn't know anything about MKUltra. Uh, so, I was nice to him, I gave him my ID. Um, he is surprised. He is, uh, he tries to understand what am I there. He doesn't know anything about what MK Ultra is. And uh, just like all other police officers, investigators, he also have a problem giving me his name, presenting himself, which is really unpresentable. All the police officers, the same shit. They just don't want to give their names. They don't want to present themselves. You have witnessed that I have handed my personal ID to make things easy and presentable as much as possible. And to his colleague, dispatcher at the window, Pevets, as well as to him. I am really trying to be nice, I'm trying to do things, move forward. He doesn't even know what MK Ultra is, anything doesn't present himself. So I ask him, could you please present yourself to me, what your name is? Uh, Polizist Rätsel. So, the way this goes is Police Officer Rätsel would be his last name. That would be his last name would be Rätsel. Um, In reality, an investigator, just as I stated, I estimate since 1996, we're going to say, according to my, my data, I would say 1996, perhaps even 1997, but I still go with 1996. Because I remember how excited he was when he became my investigator. Because back in the day he claimed, now I can help you. Now I can help you. I too am an investigator. Uh, it didn't last. It didn't last. That's all I can say. It didn't last. His help did not last. It was more and more violence wherever he was. This is exactly what I presented to you today. Already in a video which I have used as an update. Uh, he was the one who enforced violence against me on behalf of uh, police. Director Ogulin, I should say. Other directors, uh, Milan Kuchan, Mighty Ljubljana, in this area here, since 95, 96, this is what this was, 97, he participated in this stuff. Uh, I had a feeling like he is, he, he was studying a lot, you know, he was studying a lot, whatever the fuck he was doing, uh, and... He got his investigator to become an investigator, apparently, in 1996. He was really, really happy that he got his things done, 96, 97. He had to get the whole university degree, and on top of that, he had to go through extra investigation, all kinds of stuff, whatever, legal stuff, you know? So this is not just any kind of, I would say, ordinary police officer. This guy should be very 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 highly qualified accredited investigator what a fucking failure what a failure i mean
Ste, vi ste policista, ste preskovani policisti. Policisti. I ask him, are you an investigator or are you a police officer? He says to me, a police officer. Okay. He does not clarify because I do want to know whether he's an investigator or he's a police officer. He uh, insists he is a police officer. Okay. You see, this is already what not supposed to be happening. And this is according to MK Ultra scenario. But okay, we, we continue with this stuff. We can do this. I, I tell to him, yeah, okay, fine. No, it's not okay, but yeah. I say to him, yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> he says to me, uh, you, you stated to me MK Ultra, MK Ultra. I said, yes, I did. MK Ultra, yeah. And he is writing down MK Ultra. Can you imagine how nice? Uh, I said to him, I am. It, it, it's really weird to me that none of your police officers knows anything about what MKL Tray is. And he interrupts me and he says something. Uh, he interrupts me and he says a police in for is enforcing MK Ultra. Uh, did I say that correctly against you? Did I say that correctly? Uh, he says to me exactly what I stated. And in that moment, I ask him a question because he acts like he doesn't know anything about MK Ultra, and it's the police that enforces MK Ultra, and he's taking the note about it. I ask him the question. I get serious and ask him a question, uh, Mr. Retzel. You don't know anything about what MK Ultra is. Am I correct about it? Uh, do you know anything about me? Do you recognize me? Do you know me? He says to me, no, I do not know anything about this and I also do not know you, he says. He sa and I say to him, you don't know me? He says, he says, do you know me? He asks me, do you know me? And I say to him, you look familiar to me. Yes, indeed. He says, uh, it's possible. I don't know. And I continue. Uh, in respect to MK Ultra procedure, which is concerning your police station, and it also concerns the police station where your police was based prior to this police station, uh, that was inside of the city of the Novo Mesto, it started, uh, police started to enforce against me the MK Ultra procedure at my age one, at one year, at one year of my age. The 
the Yugoslavi, the Christian Hindu, the Syrian, later to the Western Sense, to the Sambra de Verga, uh, in modo che gli uiosi di bro scritto qui, che cosa... I told him, you know, because I was born on December 9, 1971, and uh, during that time it was uh, Yugoslavia. It was a federation of the Yugoslav republics, uh, which lasted until 1991. Um, nobody in 1971, in 1972, when this started, when I was one year old, Nobody had access to this type of stuff. Nobody was doing this kind of stuff other than Josip Brostito. Nobody was allowed to play with MK Ultra procedure other than Josip Brostito who started this procedure. Uh, in other words, nobody was doing this kind of stuff. When I was one year old in Yugoslavia, we didn't have any kind of mafia, we didn't have any kind of people, we didn't have any kind of special people from abroad, from elsewhere, or whatever the fuck it would be, that would do this kind of stuff. There was only Josip Broz Tito, in other words, it was the police. Police was the only one who did this kind of stuff, and of course it's all about the police. Josip Broz Tito, for those that don't know him. My fingers hurt so badly. Um, there you go. For those that don't know him, this is a Josip Broz Tito of Yugoslavia. I would really sincerely, I would not waste time on it. He was not any up to, up to any good. You're not missing on anything. He says he said to me yes and I said to him you know even today based on Slovenian independence which took place in 1991 is nobody since you inherited this case MK Ultra case just nobody else that would be running this kind of that would continue to run this kind of business other than Slovenian police. Uh, your Slovenian parliament, your entire Slovenian parliament was involved in this matter. Um, I tell him because of the number, because of the degree of people, the number of people who were in, in this crime, in this MK Ultra crime involved directly in it, like they would, like on a frequent basis, they would be involved in it. Uh, it couldn't be anybody other than Novo Mesto Police. It couldn't be any other than Slovenian Police that is running this case. The case, the MK Ultra case. Uh, because of about 50 people, 50 employees of yours here at Novo Mesto Police Station that were directly, directly, I'm talking about directly, not knowing about this case, but directly involved in this. 50 police officers, 50 employees from your Novo Mesto Police Station were directly involved in this stuff. That's the kind of accusation I make. That's a very serious accusation. I don't know how much... How much that kind of stuff is funny to you? Uh, but that's a very serious accusation. Especially because of that. Nobody's doing it. It's not about, obviously, I'm trying to make a point about the parliament which inherited the crime from Milosevic, from the Yugoslavia, which Josip Brostito commenced at my age, one years of age. But it's very much about your novel master police station, obviously. 
upletenju, to za devo, ni mogo biti izšedel kot policija. To je tudi pritoklo proti policijski postaji. V tem konkretnem primeru zdaj, katerega bom navedel med drugi. Pritoklo bi rad podal, Uh, I continue and it seems like he's asking about whom would you like to complain against and say against your police station. It concerns your entire, obviously, your novel master police station. <laughs> I am submitting complaint. In other words, I am submitting complaint. And when he learns about the background of our meeting, what he does is he leaves me at the lobby again and he departs. Uh, he's going back to his area wherever he goes and uh, I don't know who he's going to meet or whatever he's going to do. Uh, he's going to bring me some papers and then he's going to insist on how I should write the complaint, that kind of stuff, which also was part of MK, as I'm about to explain in continuation. Let's continue with this. So I, I wait for him to come back. You know, he left back in the, in the police area. Uh, he returns back quite aggressively through the doors and aggressively through the doors and it's like Mr. Ausitz Bustian let me translate word by word. That's how he addresses me. No. Boom. Mr. Mr. Bustian. And I correct him. I said, uh, Bustian Ausatz. Yeah, that is correct. If you would like to submit a complaint, I have for you right here with me a pencil and the paper. Uh -huh. And I say to him, uh -huh. what you will do, you will describe uh, your complaint on the paper. You will write the complaint on your paper. Yeah. You will do this in a form that will be readable for us so that we can read. Yeah, it's got to be written nicely so that we can read. <laughs> uh, you also, however, have option uh, to send your complaint through the email At the, uh, uh, from the police. You just submit this to the police. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I can also give you an email. <laughs> Now, what I do is, to me, this sounds to me like a serious provocation because I do think that there should be a whole list of people assisting me with this issue. This is not being taken seriously. Uh, and I tell him in return, I said to him, look, uh, you know, Uh, 
Uh, he is actually advising me also to have ability to send this to the administration of the city of the Novo Mesto, or, or actually no, uh, to the administration of the police. He, 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 he thinks about the administration of the police that I should send this to, yeah. Either to the administration of the police or to the police, whatever. And what I tell him is, uh, for me personally, it's more pleasurable. This is the language that I use. Yeah, for I tell him, you know, for me personally, it's more pleasurable. I ask him, do you know what is pleasurable? Do you know what is pleasurable? He says to me that you will write this, that you will do the handwriting. Uh, it means that I prefer to have a meeting with you in person about this. And he asked me, do you know why? Uh, he says, he, he says to me, okay, whatever. And I said to him, do you know why? Uh, I don't know, he's talking about something that uh, this is the procedure or whatever it is. And I asked him, do you know why? Uh, I will repeat to you the whole thing. Uh, I said, you are correct. I completely agree with you. Uh, you know, this is about the procedure MK Ultra, and a bit earlier I have mentioned your police director. He says yes. And I continue. That means I am here to directly submit a criminal procedure against him. I I stopped by today here with the reason. And the reason is, I would like to submit a criminal complaint against him. So I tell him, the first thing that we have to do in this case, we have to come to conclusion whether you are even qualified to take my complaint. As a matter of fact, who in your police station is qualified enough to accept my complaint? Yeah, because it concerns the police director. I tell him, it's not every police officer that can just go and investigate uh, his police director. So he says to me, uh, in that case, it's probably the best that you send the email uh, to Ljubljana, to the capital of Slovenia, to Ljubljana. So he's, he's, given me, he's given me a very, very logical information, but I have the reason to insist. In a little bit, it's going to become obvious why. And so I say... And this is because you don't have anybody at the Novo Mesto police station who could, uh, who is qualified to investigate this case. Am I correct? He says to me, I don't even know what you want, uh, what you are trying to tell. And I said to him, I know. Uh -huh. 
I tell him, I know that you don't know what I want because you don't give me, you don't, you don't allow me to explain what this is all about. He said, that, yeah, well, that's why I brought you a pencil here and a paper and you can take this home and you can write down complaint. Yeah. You can bring this here back personally, in person, or you can send this to the email. I tell him, you know, it's already been typed, it's already written, the complaint. Uh, let me give you a little bit background about this stuff here. This is done in a such a way so that this specific procedure just requires from me personally, when it comes to MKL3, it just requires from me to go um, basically to walk through the corpses is the type of procedure. It sounds a little bit harsh, but it was exactly this police investigator who stated me during MKL3, I am going to fuck you. You will come to me and I'll give you the pen and I'll give you the email, I will do this, I will do that. Whatever I will tell you is exactly what it will fit to the official uh, code, to officially what I supposed to tell you. But this is not the best option for you. He alone admitted this during MK Ultra. No, actually, this is not even an option for me. Why is this not an option for me? Why is it not writing down or sending an email to Ljubljana or to Novo Mesto, not an option for me. Because the procedure, as I stated, walk across the corpses, means that I will, in the process of this procedure, investigation procedure, meet various people, which some will act according to their official duties, official, according to their Oradni list, uh, as it is expected of them as a police officers and uh, that every one of them most likely will do exactly what this guy is doing that's basically neglecting the job uh, looking the way out uh, trying to delay trying to postpone uh, let's not forget what have happened in 2007 when i came at a police station and i requested assistance in respect to the car parts from the Germany. It's always better to keep in touch with the people, uh, talk about it, make them write whatever matters in the whole thing, uh, and this way basically enforce the procedure so that if they do not want to do, uh, you take it from there to the next police officer, to the next authority, I should say, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, so that you count corpses. You have to establish, basically, the chain of corpses that you have to walk through. Uh, so it becomes apparent that the system itself is not willing to resolve the issue. In other words, that you establish that system itself is in a war against you. And that's exactly the type of procedure I am doing. Besides that, uh, if you give me 1,000 pages, I don't think that I can finish the complaint. And we are at the place where the crime is being enforced against me. Let's not forget I go home and the crime follows me home. That same night, the crime as I come home continues inside of the house. As I step out of the house, uh, wherever the fuck I go, the crime stalks me everywhere. Uh, so for me, that type of procedure, because this is the MK Ultra procedure, just doesn't work. And every police officer that is a police officer due to this type of circumstances I described right now, will agree. In other words, this is emergency. He should have taken in account that this is emergency. I did mention a police officer, I mentioned a police station, and he had not taken any kind of steps about it. He, this, this is a paper, go home and write on the paper, so it's going to be legible, so that we can read 
and then come back. Yeah, but it does not work in this case like this. He alone admitted this during MK Ultra. And I am trying to resolve this case already for a very, very long time. I said to him, and you know, I'm also surprised that you did not recognize me, you know. Uh, let's go back to see what exactly went. He says, I don't even know what you're trying to tell, whatever. And I said, yeah, I know, because you didn't listen. You did not allow for me to explain. He keeps jumping in my whatever I'm trying to say. He, he keeps making his obviously excuses his way out, he doesn't allow for me to even speak. Yeah, we already discussed these issues. Uh, here is the pen paper, or you go home and you type down. Describe the incident and you send this to the uh, email. So I tell him it's already written down. And, and I say, it's already written down, I tell him. And by the way, I was really surprised when you stated to me that you don't know me. You know, I tell him two things. It's already written down. And second thing, I was really surprised when you told me that you didn't know me, that you didn't recognize me. He says, I really don't know. I really don't know where, 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 how I should know you, etc., etc. So I tell him, do you know the lady, the blonde lady that walked inside, and then the shorter gentleman also, uniformed, just like she was, that just walked in? You saw them. Uh, you know, the two are a good friends, a good colleagues of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. So when I mention this, the word psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, this is when he gets pale and he gets big eyes, and he gets pale, he gets sensitive. I touched uh, uh, the nerve, you know, he said, he doesn't know me, you know, I tell him, I was honestly, I was surprised about it, you know, and then I mentioned him how the lady and the man, how they walked inside, uh, you know, the lobby, you saw them, you know. Um, they were two good friends with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Now I am already explaining him about the tolpa, about the people he was involved in. He gets spelled, he makes, he makes, uh, he, he eyes me, very sensitive when I mention the name psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. Uh, I'm saying to him, you know, there is no police officer in your entire police station, normal master, that would not know me. So, honestly, I am surprised that you don't know me. Okay. He says, I don't know you. Okay, he says to me, honestly, uh, he, uh, he takes the right hand, that means to give the oath, he extends his hands like this and says, honestly, I do not know you, he says. I said, okay, I said, you, you raised your hand. I asked him, do you know what that means? He says that I exclaimed that I, that I, yeah, that I exclaimed as the first, obviously at the police station, that 
don't know you. I tell him, I tell him no. I tell him, I tell him, in Slovenia, there is not even a single court that possibly could represent me. So I look at him and I said, let's go and we're going to do this again. Good friends of the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. There is nobody, not a single police officer at your entire police station that would not know me. He raises the hand, says, Okay, I'm the first one, I don't know you. He raises the right hand. I said, Okay. You lifted your hand, I say. You you raised your hand. I said, do you know what that means? And he answers to me that I reported as the first one who doesn't know you. As a matter of fact, I tell him, in Slovenia, there is not a single court that possibly could represent me. I ask him, do you understand this? In Slovenia, there is not a court which possibly could represent me. Do you are you aware of this? I ask him. I am the court. Yeah, this is how I tell him because he raised the hand and he says, I'm the first one. Well, after I say, everybody at the police station, Novomesto, knows me. And he raises the hand, Evan, here I am. I don't know you. So I explained him, in Slovenia, there is not a court that possibly can represent me. Are you aware of it? That means I am the court. You made the oath right now, stating that you don't know me, that you don't recognize me, which is a lie. You are lying to me in my face, is what I tell him further. You are lying to me in my face. He said, are you going to tell anything else? Uh, or you're going to say to me that I am lying. And I'm saying to him, you are lying. And I am saying to him, you are lying. Uh, he said to me, he said to me, I said to him, you stated that you don't know me, you are lying. I say to him, and he said to me, where do I know you from? Tell me, where do I know you from? Uh, you were involved in MK Ultra procedure. He says, what kind of procedure? I tell him, you were involved in it, we met before. So he says to me, yeah, we did met, yeah, tell, tell me when we met. Uh, 
um, repeating from MK Ultra, word by word, the same thing like a niece's husband right here in the back of the house, word by word. And it took him a long time to repeat over and over and over what would become our meeting, which took place in June the 21st, 2024. He knew at this point in time, he's not only lying, he's intimidating already. He knew, explain to me during MK Ultra, what I will say to you is, when did we meet, if you will get to this stage? They doubted I would even stand up like this, like I did. Um, this did not go according to their plan at all. This was a disaster. I continue, I said to him, you gave me a paper to write this. And I said to him, the complaint already is written. In English language, however, he says, okay. If I was to submit this complaint the way you want, and he's got uh, three papers, three white papers with a pencil, uh, I explained to him the complaint would be about 1,000 pages minimum long. Uh, and I don't have time to write down again, in other words, 1,000 pages. This stuff can be seen on my blog. Again, another 1,000 pages to submit your complaint while you, the police unit of the normal master, will continue to engage in violence against me. Now I squeezed him, left him without absolutely any doubt about what this is about. He says, okay. I say to him, today again, I have experienced violence. Uh, and I say to him, it will not go on like this anymore, Mr. You will have to get somebody. You will have to get somebody so that I could, that I will have ability to officially submit the complaint. He is uh, left without words. He is now speechless. He is cornered. Uh, he stands up. He stands up and again he leaves me. He doesn't say anything. He stands up and he goes again inside the whatever area. Uh, they are quite loud. They are quite loud with his doors. They're not supposed to be so loud. This was already talk about that stuff too. They were also playing with the doors during MK Ultra, and we are waiting for somebody to come out to see what's going to be next. Oh, and now it's the bad part that comes.
So we continue to wait at the lobby area. We continue to wait. The lobby area. Well, as a matter of fact, at this point in time, It's just myself, basically, sitting right here. At this chair here. All this stuff is monitored. They monitored, absolutely, they watched. Sitting here in this chair is just me. I'm very relaxed. Uh, I have made some facial expressions right now with you. I did make some facial expressions with you at the police. I have none. Close to none. I said this is a very weird uh, procedure they run at the police station. I am certain that you have heard uh, somebody went through the door and really slammed the fuck out of the door. Uh, what's happening right now? <laughs> well, uh, they claimed uh, both of these investigators that that's the stuff I'm not going to be able to prove anything in respect to the doors. I just did. Uh, today, on this day, a police officer really fucking loud about with the doors. And the person who went through the door have said the foreground about what is about to take next. This shit will now repeat, except that it will be even louder. However, this was very loud, if you pay attention to that. So that way, police believed are going to rationalize, apologize what is coming next. So they just, they already started with the violence procedure. This is already crime, what you have heard. The guy smashing the door when he went through. We continue exactly accordingly with the MK Ultra brainwash, everything how they are going to fuck me. Um, as far as the table that I would push one away once I'm gonna stand up. It's out of question. I am not keeping my legs under the table. I am keeping my legs away from the table, with a chair away from the table, uh, sitting very comfortably, and definitely not keeping my legs under this small table for which they have anticipated through the audio recording they would even obtain the proof against me, whatever proof. Yeah. 
we're getting to this part here. Now it's the incident. Now the incident is coming. So they were certain they're gonna run uh, psychology on me and even intimidate me based on violence they engaged in at this police station, just as I stated, the police officers even physically assaulted me outside of the police station, in front of the police station, and on several occasions at the parking lot. On quite a few occasions, even at the parking lot. For what went on inside of the police station, I already have discussed about it. Now the police Let's see. Mr. Pevets, I think, is coming out. Uh, now it's Mr. Pevets that comes out, smashes the door, comes out. And he's got a really ugly face on him. And he started to bark at me. What do you, what do you want? What do you want? Huh? And that's like, like, huh? What, what do you want? I tell him, Right now, as you walked out, the way you walked out, it was so aggressive. I mean, I would not even pay him attention the way he came out so aggressively toward me. Uh, I advise him, you know, the way you came out through the doors, the way you, you have your conduct right now, it's actually so aggressive. Through the doors, I say. I'm going to do this again. What do you want? What do you want? I am looking at him the way he came out. I advise him in a very, very aggressive way you came out. Through the doors, the way you walked through the doors was very aggressive. He says to me, uh, you're not supposed to video record here. He is not, he is not an and I asked him, I said, where does it say that I am not allowed to video record? Uh, he demonstrates to me a sign on the door, he says, not allowed to video record. Okay. Uh, I am. I say to him, okay, and I continue because this was not about video recording. This was about other issues, and I want to talk about his about his manners, the way he broke through the door. And I'm asking him right now, do you know how aggressively you walk through the door? He is looking at me like he is mad. I mean, he's looking at me like aggressive, like he wants to start a physical confrontation or something. He's not taking any kind of responsibility for his, the way he broke through into the lobby.
Um, I, I keep asking him if he's aware of just how aggressively he walked through the doors. I have to calm him down so that he becomes aware of his actions around me before this stuff can escalate into something else. I ask him, do you allow me to speak? Because this guy does not even allow me to speak. We have a problem here. And I don't want the situation to spin out of the control. He says, you stated that I, that I came aggressive. I say to him, please allow me to say. Please allow me to say, please allow me to talk. He does not allow anything. He keeps barking. Yes. Uh, now he crosses, now he crosses the line. Now what he does is for what he believes is going to yield him arrest that day. And what he does is uh, literally the two of them started to engage. Uh, already before that, I missed here, big time. I have to go back. I'm going to have to go back with this stuff here. It's two investigate. It's two police officers now that come out. It's a police investigator, and it's also uh, 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 therefore Pevets. Uh, the dispatcher I have spoken primarily with and the investigator who presented himself as a police officer without the uniform police officer uh, a Rezer. it's two that come out two come out you remember when I told you about the telephone audio recording and stuff This is the most important part right here. This is where everything is going to play out. This guy is actually fucking insane. I mean, he snapped the door in a such a way that you can actually, I think even the recorder did not catch the sound, the way he snapped through the door. This guy fucking snaps through the door, through the door handle. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you try to tell? What do you want? And I am drinking at this time. I'm looking at him and I am drinking the water. I'm looking at him. Then I address him because he is standing right in front of me. He is looking at me like crazy. I ask him, it was so aggressive, I say, when you came through the door. It was so aggressive. Uh, there is a sign you're not supposed to video record. I said, where is the sign when I'm not supposed to uh, video record? And when this is taking place right now, I am actually not even sure. Um, a police investigator 
reaction, I think was, I think was here. And at this time, um, he is here, something like this. Um, I think it was Retzel who demonstrated to me on the doors, uh, likely the sign which says that you're not supposed to video record. There is a sign which I already have discussed about in the video where you're not supposed to video record. But the two get into original position, this is very important. The two assumed their uh, position. Let's do it like this. And this here, we're going to say this is a retzel here. We're going to do it like this. Yes. Uh, I sit here. Uh, I sit here. And we have this individual who smashed through the door. That is somewhere here like this. Now, after he demonstrated me that not supposed to video record, this guy proceeds toward me straight like this. To the chair like this. Just like this. What's happening right now is I, I continue to sit on the chair like this and I have uh, it appears to you like the right hand it's actually just me. The left one, he is now on my left side just as I demonstrated you uh, on the picture right there and he is standing like a mountain here and the two started to bark with one another exchange. Let me demonstrate you how that looked like. With Pevitz is his last name right here and Rachel as you see right there the two started to cross bully which the two also explained me during MK Ultra that there will be a lot of barking to get me excited first to get me excited and then if I would do any kind of move in fact just as I stated if I would stand up and push the table in any way because everything just as in the case of Mitya Weber was through the telephone this is like they put the words in your mouth that's why I insisted on the issue how aggressive he smashed the door walked inside and especially just as in the case of Weber I wanted him to become aware I wanted the answer for him if he's aware of how aggressive somebody video records you don't have any kind of police authority to smash the door and act like this in front of customer, taxpayer you have no authority whatsoever it's about intimidation and those are two very very different things this one here was paved with a lot of physical violence already which took place at the police station. I don't hear properly. Okay. Ну, 
izgleda da bo tako agresivno, ker ste van prišel tamo preko... And I am, I am really being polite. I mean, he is being angry. He is, behave, he is behaving like a demented individual. Like, what the fuck do you want? What do you want? What, what this and that? And I, I said to him in a very calm manner, that's also very important. I told him in a very calm manner, the way you walked out through the door, it was in a such an aggressive manner. I tell him, in a very calm language. He is not very small, can I say his name? Okay. Veste koliko agresivno ste vi zdali pa so čez vrat? The point here is that when I answer to him with a question where I, I acknowledge him I said okay no I said where does it say that on the doors uh, I'm not supposed to video record I think actually I'm not even sure I'm not going to say this I might have even video record already way before that. It doesn't matter because it's everything is timed. Whatever the case might have been. I did go one time like this with the camera in the lobby so that I could have ability to describe the incident. This was the reason why I did this. I did not use the video recording. Um, it is something else. Um, the video recording was the excuse. It really was the excuse for something else. The way he jumped on me, I felt it was the way he smashed the door. Uh, it was not to alert me about, sir, you're not supposed to video record here. We do have a sign and so on. It was about intimidating me. And using a video recording issue as an excuse to intimidate and I wasn't going to buy it. So I went on to say, okay. I said, okay, I got it, basically, okay. I said to him, okay. What I do is, I ask him again a question. Do you know how aggressively you walked through that door? I didn't move hands or anything, I don't think I have moved the hands. Um, and if I, if I did move the hands, if I moved the hands like this, I sit on the chair. My question was, do you know how aggressively you walk through that door? I wasn't going to walk him away with, hey, there is a sign. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to allow this stuff. Uh, now this guy is now wasting his time. He is already at this place. He he continues and he walks here. We he is he is right next to me on my left hand, and he's aggressive, and is aggressively exchanging the language with the police investigator with a, with an investigator who was previously sit it right in front of me in the opposite end of the table with a rätsel. What I do is I sit in the chair, I comfortable sit in the chair and what I do is I ask him a question, I repeat him a question. Do you know how aggressively you walk through the door? And I'm determined to ask this question till he's going to understand what he did. In other words, still he's going to take responsibility for something he shouldn't have done. It. I ask him, do you, do you allow me? Do you allow me? The two start to, the two, the two start to talk to one another without Uh, he is actually really aggressive, not only with the door, not only with the language, but also with the posture, 
really aggressive. He, he's holding aggressive posture and he comes next to me. Why, why did you come next to me? I mean, what, what's the matter? Why do you need to come so close to me? For one thing, you're aggressive right now. You're just, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the distance he kept in front of, away from me, maybe, uh, I don't know if he had, if he was standing away from me just one meter. Why the fuck would you come to me on my left hand? It's a table right there. It's a big lobby. Why do you need to come to me? What are you going to kick me? What are you going to do? And I continue to ask him. I continue to build the case. What I am doing right now is I'm making sure that this is on the record. This guy lost control deliberately. And what he is doing, in fact, with other police, with a with other gangster, Retzel, what he is doing right now, the two start to crisscross tactics which they teach them on how to bully, how to harass. Uh, till I would stand up, do something uncontrollable, uh, even move hand or something, for what I was advised by American police even, do not even move hand, do not even move hand. <laughs> It's what a police criminal dispatcher at Pivots stated to me, and it's why it's going to be so much more responsible. That's why he's so fucked, you know, this guy. Both of them are fucked, but Pivots is really fucked. He stated to me during MK Ultra, you know, I used to be a bully in the school. I used to have fights all the time. And so what I want to do is, I want to see you angry. I want to see you one time, how you make a face, how you make a facial expression, knowing that I will not go to the distance. This guy knew that I'm not going to be an easy catch. He knew that what I will do, however, is I will give him a dirty look. And I didn't give him a dirty look. Mm -mm. I did not give him a dirty look. Once uh, I establish what was what became more than evident standing next to me and engaging in aggressive behavior against me while I'm sitting at the chair it's when I stand up and that's when I give him a really really long and dirty look and I continue to apply pressure on him as per why is he trying to intimidate me what he started is what I, now I start to develop into something else. You can only hear, however, my chair moving. Not a table or anything. I'm procalculated. I have everything. Now he is moving his hands. His colleague across the table, a criminal without the uniform, a retzel is making a quick moves with idea, with belief that I am going to act. You don't have to overreact at all. It's enough to move hands. And that gives them a justification to act against you with a physical force. Uh, and I start instead to establish fact about him attempting to intimidate me. And I get ugly. Now I get really, really ugly. We are at the police station. And I get really ugly. Now I'm not taking it anymore. Now I want to know what are you trying to intimidate me for? That's when he changes the tune. That's when he becomes polite. He becomes nice all of a sudden. Exactly according to MK Ultra procedure for which Pevitz stated. I do that stuff because sometimes people however do not stop even after i change the tone and they continue to go on and on and on and that gives me also another opportunity to jump on the person and grab the person so this guy is gonna this guy is so fucked both of these guys are so fucked guys let's just roll the tape to the end of this audio and i told them before i left i told them 
the tape, the videotape that is ready for me when I come back, because I will want that tape in my hands. And that's basically how it's done with a tux like this. Uh, this is basically when I stand up and I say to him, yeah, you could you could hear the cheer, the way the way the cheers moves, and I look at him in the face, and I'm not pleasant at all, and I tell him, do not, do not, do not engage in aggression against me. Do not try to intimidate me, I tell him. Do not try to intimidate me. I was polite all the way, until I established the fact. Well, that's it. I established the fact. Now we have to establish other facts. He says to me, I am not aggressive. This is when I continue to go. Do not be aggressive against me. The same way as I asked him earlier, why he walked, you walked very aggressively through the door, the way you walk through the door. It's what I'm doing right now, I continue to build in his face. Something he did not anticipate quite is going to develop. Now, what exactly am I doing right now? Well, at this point in time, and maybe he wants to overreact. Let's see. Let's see how far, because he came so aggressive. And he was so much um, with such a temperament in uh, so much control, like what do you want, what this, what that. Uh, after I established the fact, let's see how far you're going to go now with your being aggressive like this after I established the fact. Let's see if you want to if you want to do something now. Yeah? Now we are at the police station. I have the opportunity. He comes down. All of a sudden he changes the tune. I was not aggressive and this and that. Uh, I remind him, I tell him, I came here to submit a complaint. Do you understand? And I continue to remind him, do not engage in aggression against me. Do not try to intimidate me. Uh, the penalty for the police officers that is trying to intimidate someone in my situation is you're fired at the spot. This is an MK Ultra case. And based on the charges that I brought up against you, uh, you are going to be you're going to be serving life sentences, not life sentence. This guy dreamed about breaking the head at stoppage chair with his family, uh, so that I would be well. Obviously, that when you break somebody's head, you you cause him uh, internal brain injuries. Uh, he fought me at the back parking lot. Uh, this guy. This guy is really insane. This guy is not even acting, but he's insane. I just wanted to see how far he's going to go at the police station. Uh, the two do not allow for me to even talk. That's interesting. He, he says, what do you want? I said, I came here to submit the complaint. I have the right. It's my right. I have the right to come to the police station and submit the complaint. This guy's an idiot. Excuse me. He says, he says, please be my guest. Uh, I say, I say to him, uh, A gentleman gave me a three papers, and he says to me, I can give you more. I asked him a question, how many did you brought with you? 
uh, two papers and I ask him in front of this dispatcher with the three stars I said how many did I told you it would take for me to submit the complaint and I asked him further I said and who did I exactly told you this complaint is against against entire police station I tell him against specifically against your director of the police station Jurcic and he goes again and he does something this is what this is this is the dangerous part about it it's not the end of it it's not the end of it um, this is unless I would start the problem for which they anticipated I would even start questioning about the video recording and stuff like this I did not they anticipated I would go home and I would develop the story about the two engaging in as the two, two told me during MTL it's going to be a schizophrenic behavior without allowing me to actually speak and putting the words in my mouth I had nothing to do with it I mean he goes on to again explain me what he already explained me I don't know how many times and for what I already obviously answered to him as is evident throughout the conversation that just as I articulated I don't know how to how to say this properly in English he goes on to repeat me uh, the procedure through the email and or through the writing to his police administration or to the general email electronic address at the police Novo Mesto police or at the Ljubljana uh, and or deliver written down complaint at the police station uh, the best part about it is the two claim that uh, I did not properly explain this stuff without even allowing me to say what I have to say I mean it turns out bizarre and this is the part the two believed I'm actually gonna go home and based on his facial features I'm talking about a Retzel therefore a police officer without the uniform will rate one as a schizophrenic based on the interaction between the two in front of me which would not even allow me to say speak uh, it is true the two admitted also during MK Ultra uh, that the stuff they will do is a schizophrenia literally without allowing person to talk explain and further even put words in his mouth that he has nothing to do with it well the thing is that this they didn't get this kind of comment from me through the YouTube did not get one like this uh, but they got really the explanation exactly about what they anticipated they would accomplish with my statements like this against the two and it's something already I explained it started with the British Royals in 1997 when they labeled it in front of me as schizophrenic something I would repeat to this violent thugs over and over for quite some time uh, till I would eventually stop with this stuff uh, but they continued with the psychiatry against me in 2012 literally throwing me inside of the psychiatric hospital engaging both of this and other police officers investigators in all kinds of crimes uh, related to psychiatry and how they're going to get me killed and so on uh, and it's that it's a revenge for my calling them this and that uh, and in the future when this is going to happen if I would go dared me actually no dared me I told you about the issue about the drunk man usually the drunk people will never admit they're at fault they're guilty they do something wrong because they will continue to claim their own account whatever even if they are wrong and this is what the police anticipated they're going to develop this type of personality in me and 
because of the degree of crime against me have anticipated, I will be, in fact, irrational. I will be, in fact, um, I will try to be insultive or whatever. Uh, will behave in a such a way, uh, imagine, call the two schizophrenics based on their facial features, uh, behavior, uh, something the police have labeled me with in 2012 through using my parents through the lies. And what the two together also claimed with director and other investigators will be used since you called me a schizophrenic is what Rezel insisted. I will be the one contacting the psychiatry. We will go over that stuff for you and so on and so forth. So these guys are really fucked. The two explained to me these issues, everything I explained to you in these videos, in this video, the two knew exactly how much they violated the law, a crime they engaged in. And this crime did go into heavy physical violence, into heavy abuse, very, very heavy. It's not good to lock somebody inside of your home uh, like they did. Uh, talking about the bald guy, uh, uniform guy with the three stars, pivots, uh, who have a habit to lock me in his home and uh, borrow me to his neighbors at store pictures so they could torture me and do really, really nasty stuff. And or a company uh, individual uh, from apartment to apartment, from house to house. So it can be physical, psychological violence done on him. These guys are... These guys are going to get life sentences. These guys are not going to get a fucking life sentence. They're going to have to admit everything I stated in this video. Everything I stated in this video, I'm going to raise the right hand. is fact. Everything I stated in this video, absolutely everything is a fact. Under the oath. I give my oath that everything I stated under this video is a fact. Well, these are the charges they are going to have to respond together with the director of the Novo Mesto Police Station. Yushish. No, 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 they, they, they don't allow this, they don't allow, they don't allow for me to finish, they don't allow for me to finish anything. The two start exactly with the procedure for which they anticipated me, for me, I'm going to write the two as a schizophrenics, something that was used during MK Ultra to dare me, to challenge me, to bully me, to dare me, literally to dare me, if you will. I, I, tell, I tell him, it's exactly what I stated. He didn't allow me to state, so what I do is I say that's exactly what I stated. You have to allow a person to tell the whole thing. Uh, you have to have a way to communicate, and if you don't allow other person to communicate, I don't think that you should expect from other person to be affirmative to you. Um, I, I test a little bit the two more. I tell them this is exactly what I stated. No, I did not state it that. Why would the fuck I repeat this stuff again? Unless he would give me the opportunity to state this, to say it. But he did not give me any kind of opportunity. So I want to see how much the two are under the mental control. So that's why I say that's exactly what I stated. That's exactly what I stated. I do now the same thing they do it. They don't allow me to talk, so I go. That's exactly what I stated. In between, as I suggest, 
you didn't allow me to finish, you didn't allow me to say it. That's what I was going to state. Uh, I'm not happy with the instructions that he gave me uh, and I continue to explain him what he stated to me earlier I'm not going to go repeat from this that I can sit here stuff that I already talked about how to complain and, and so on yeah he became very, very loud. I mean, you know, this is just... Uh, so I continue. I have no plan to go home and write letters and, and do that kind of stuff. And after he is done with the blah, 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 I say, and it's because, Mr. Pevets, right, uh, you don't have anybody that I could sit with at the table and discuss these issues at your police station. Am I correct about that? Now, finally, now, according to MK Ultra, as the two have stated me, at the end, we're going to tell you, at the end, we're going to tell you. Now they finally tell me what other police officer already have stated me the time earlier. Um, unfortunately, that is true. Um, we have police people here who do this kind of stuff, assistant of the police director between, I don't know what he says, between 8 and 2 o'clock. Uh, between 0800 and 1400 hours. He says, actually, he says, no, I don't know what we would do. He says, from the, from the leadership to a test to Karsimis Hod, is a psychiatric bone, it's a custom and um, I, I tell them that the procedure, the way they did the procedure, was very, very incorrect. You break through the door, you try to intimidate. Do you have cameras here? I ask them. They say we do have it. I told them I demand a video recording from this incident. Uh, they keep repeating. They keep repeating. Uh, now it's the pivots who keeps repeating that you have ability to send electronic mail uh, right on the letter. I mean, it doesn't make even sense anymore for me to talk about that stuff. He says, but we don't have the way you want it to have it done. And I said, how did I want it to have it done? Uh, and I said to him, he says to me, uh, after he said that they don't have it like this, the way I demanded, uh, he says, uh, you stated that you would like to meet the person who is accountable, who is uh, uh, pristoyan, that means in charge for these types of issues. We don't have this kind of person here. for the complaints. We don't have this. I tell him, you know, as a police station, you absolutely have a person like this because you're a police station. I, I agree to him and at the same time I tell him, as a police station, 
I said, yes. Uh, and as a police station, you absolutely also have this kind of person because logically you have to have. This is not a regular police station. This is a regional police station. This is more than police station. This is the police station that serves Dolenska, basically. A region. A regional police station is basically what this is. You know what he says to me? Maybe there is there is a, there is a attendant a, a, um, a assistant of attendant whatever the supervisor who is not here at this time. Uh, he works between. You have to come on a weekdays between the zero six hundred hours till the fourteen hundred hours. Okay. I said, but nobody mentioned this to me. Nobody mentioned this issue to me. So again, according to MK Ultra scenario, at the end of the meeting is when we're going to tell you what you're supposed to do. What makes it interesting is, ladies and gentlemen, is that exactly this was the police officer who claimed me during MK Ultra that I'm not supposed to write a complaint, that I'm not supposed to submit anything in electronic form or in a handwriting, but instead only will have to deal in person with the people uh, at the police station. This is what is the most fucked up part. Look what kind of diarrhea he made out of all this stuff. Uh, he sure did protect himself for the MK Ultra purposes uh, and will confirm absolutely everything I stated. If not in any other form, it's going to be through the lie detector test. Just not the way to be a police officer, really. He stated to me during MK Ultra, at the end, when we're going to exploit all the options, absolutely everything, we're going to tell you what you're supposed to do. Big mistake. I tell the two. Uh, everything is audio recorded anyways, but I will demand video recording of this thing. I will demand video recording of this incident. Um, I tell him because he was so worried about camera and this and that. I tell him I have an audio, don't worry about it. But you will give me a videotape about this. Um, and I tell him don't ever try to do that again to me. Don't ever try to intimidate me like this. Um, it sounded kind of goodbye. You're fucked. That's what I'm gonna say. You're fucked. I didn't even say goodbye to this. I don't know how I would express myself. Uh, it just sounded with a lot of self-confidence. You know? uh, they always asserted like they know what the fuck they're doing. I don't think they know what they're doing at all. Here, ladies and gentlemen, that's all there is to it. The original audio, everything is below. And this is basically how it's done. This was the visit at the Nova Mesto Police Station on June the 21st, 
2024. Now we're going to return for more.